Photos and videos are one of the biggest consumers of storage space on our smartphones. Technology consultant Francie Black is here to show us how to quickly remove especially duplicate images, yeah. which we end up getting a lot of somehow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like they stream it and then you've got it on there and then you share it and then it's saved again. Right, right, right. And you wind up with two or three or four of the same one. Yeah, so we've got two apps to really help with it. This is a really common problem. So I'm taking tons of photos, I'm sure you are. And they eat up our, state, our space pretty quickly. So we've got two free apps. Um, to help you um, get rid of your unwanted photos very quickly and easily. So the first one is called Flick. And um, I actually just took this picture of the studio, but what you do is you just go in, open the app, and it looks at your camera roll. <coughs> Excuse me. And all you need to do is swipe left to trash it or right to keep it. So I'm going to actually uh, swipe left. And so you can very quickly go through, and it tells you how much is going to be saved when you clear that out. This is my new little um, rescue pooch. Oh, cute. So I'm going to swipe to keep him. Okay, and so you can just swipe left or right, super easy. If you get tired of swiping, you can do trash or keep. If you make a mistake, you can hit undo, so super easy. It's a very simple app, very useful. And then if you do, um, if you go back into your trash can and there's something you want to keep, you can deselect it okay. before emptying it. In case so you started going too fast swiping. That's right, yeah, so it's, it's a super easy app okay. um, to use. So this one's called Flick. The next one, um, and this is, by the way, that's a lot easier than you know, if you're in your camera roll and you're trying to delete, and you, know, you got the little tiny thumbnails and you can't hardly see the pictures, so what that that's does? That's what it, I do. Yeah, and it's a pain. <laughs> it is. You have to find a little trash can and hit it too. Yeah, exactly. So that's a lot easier. So it gives you a much more visual on that. Okay. okay. So the next one is called um, uh, Doctor. <laughs> I just forgot it. Doctor Cleaner, and um, I'm going to say start. And what this one does? Oops, hit you the wrong thing. We want to be on the photo clean, and I'm going to hit start. And uh, what it's going to do is start scanning my photos, and it looks for similar photos, so things that look alike. And so you take three pictures of the same object to see which one you get and which one you like the best. Okay, of course, I have lots of duplicates <laughs> of, guess what you that is? You and everybody else in the world right now <laughs> has a lot of pictures of that eclipse. <laughs> so we're going to scroll right past that eclipse and into some other photos. But you can see which one, you know, these look very similar. It does suggest which one it thinks is best, and you just tap which one you want to delete. Again, here's four that look similar. I can tap which ones I want to delete and just keep the one. I like one. that. That would be very helpful. Isn't this quick and easy compared to... And then if you do want to look at a close-up of one, you know, you can tap on it and actually look at the close-up. Um, and so you can do that very quickly and then just say clean and you're done. And they're gone. And they're gone. Now, a couple things I want to point out is that, um, so this is similar photos. You can also do it of screenshots so it groups them. So that's nice because I use a lot of screenshots for what I do. You can also do it with your burst photos, which take up a lot of space. And you sometimes get a bunch of burst photos that you don't realize that you're doing, at yes. least if you're me, and you've got bursts of things that you didn't want. Right. So quick, easy way to get rid of them. <laughs> okay. And then lastly, it also does look for large videos. And these, of course, take up a lot of space. Right. So just here's, you know, one of mine that here, this one alone is over 200 megs. So again, a very much quicker way of doing it than those tedious little photos. These are both free. I will tell you, um, those are both for iOS. Um, on, um, I did look for it. There was lots of Android ones like this too, so you can use find a similar one for Android. Make sure if you do that though, I went through a bunch of these. A lot of these were um, very ad intensive. This particular one is by um, Trend Micro, which is a reputable company. Okay, I probably went through 10. Um, some of them were, had advertisements that were inappropriate. Some of them you could use them and start deleting, and then when you went to press the delete button, they were going to charge you $6.99. So, oh. yeah, so watch okay. out for those things. So I've actually cleared all that out and found these um, okay. specifically for you. And if you want that by email, if you want those links, you can go to my website at ipadwisdom.com okay. and get those. Yep. Okay. And you can also go to the Tech Times section, of course, on our website, WLOS.com, to get these apps and all of the ones that Francie comes in and shows us and teaches us how to use. Thanks so much. Thank you.